in Chickamauga, Georgia, a respected kindergarten teacher has been charged with the ugliest of crimes. 22 counts of child molestation. They um, took my clothes off and they had me bend over and they had gloves on. And as they did that, I was crying so hard, I was shaking and the lady even apologized and said, I have to do this. But it was the most humiliating thing and horrible thing that ever happened. Facing a maximum of 400 years behind bars, Tanya's trial began. Aggravated child molestation, aggravated sexual battery. The prosecutor constructed his case on testimony from cops, experts, and parents of the alleged victims. And she said she touched her bottom and her Lucy, which is what she, she calls her private area. But something else was revealed the ugly relationship between Tanya and Sandra Lamb. Sandra was something of a power player in town, and her child was one of the alleged victims. She said that um, Miss Tanya had, um, had done stuff to her. And I mean, she was like hysterical at that point. Crime Watch Daily reached out to Sandra Lamb and got no response. But Tanya Kraft's lawyer thought it smelled like a setup. I think it's it was malice that caused her to repeatedly question. And, and understand this, um, her daughter said nothing had happened originally. Well, Sandra, she seems like she's got an anger issue. I don't know why. She wouldn't let nobody push her around. She was real, real aggressive. Sandra Lamb stood out to the jury. Then the kids took the stand. How did that affect you seeing those children be marched in there one by one? Tore me up. What do you think broke your heart the most with having those kids on the stand? The interview with Tonya Skitt. When she broke down and she told them that all she did was put medicine on my bottom, I've done that to my grandkid. I wanted her not to have to be there, but I had no choice to go through with it. The only way for her not to be put on the stand because I didn't put her there was to just give up and not have the trial and go to prison for something I didn't do. Then, in a dramatic decision, Tanya decided to take the stand herself. And I told them that I absolutely was going to take the stand for two reasons. One is, I'm just a normal person, and those jurors are normal people. And if I was them, I would want to hear me say I did not do it. What are you doing up on that witness stand? I'm here because I have been falsely accused. Don't you know that you have a right to sit there and make them prove every element of their case? Yes. Don't you know that they're supposed to not have to hear from you? Yes. Prosecutors tried to paint an ugly picture. You wear fall underwear, right? Never. Yes. Yes, I do. Tanya never lost her cool. And so, you know, when we've heard all this about what a busy schedule you had, and you were asked the question, when did you fit in molesting children? Well, you didn't really have to make a lot of room in the schedule to do that, did you? I didn't molest any children, and I didn't have a video camera, unfortunately, on me 24-7. Juror Lawson paid close attention. She got on there, and she seemed like she was a, a pretty honest person. After five weeks, the jury got the case. Tanya Kraft steals herself for the verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant. Count number one, not guilty. 21 more times she heard those words. Count number five, not count guilty. eight, not count count guilty. 10, count count not guilty. Count 16, not guilty. count number 20, not guilty. Whenever they read count, count 22, 21. not guilty, I about guilty. passed out. Count number 22, not guilty. not guilty. I felt the same shock and disbelief that I felt when they showed up at my door approximately two years before. It was just 
I couldn't believe it because I had prepared myself for the worst. Tanya was free, but there was collateral damage. Without my children, they could have locked me up forever. It had been two long years since she had seen her own daughter, the same daughter who had testified against her. What was that reunion like for you? I cried when I saw her and she brought me a tissue, but she sat kind of across the room and we just talked and I just asked about school and you know, just as normal of a conversation as we could have. And I knew that I wanted to go up and hug her and pick her up and run out of the room and take her home and never let go. But one, I knew that that couldn't happen. And two, I had to let her come to me and let her feel safe and comfortable. Tanya didn't go back to teaching. Instead, she wrote a book about her personal nightmare called Accused. The former kindergarten teacher actually went back to school herself. Law school, ironically, she now works for the prosecutor's office in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And in an exciting new chapter, you'll be hearing more from Tanya Kraft soon. She's now working on a Crime Watch Daily case as a special contributor. But the most important thing in Tanya's life today is what it's always been, her children. And we're happy to report they are back with their mom really is hard to comprehend the ordeal that she has been through and just how difficult it would have been to try to get her life back on track. We do want to note that we have reached out to the prosecutor's office, to Sandra Lamb and also the father of the other alleged victim. All have declined to comment or simply not returned our calls.